So our goal at the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, the Swartz Center, is to partner with Metro 21 to help take this groundbreaking research and turn them into companies. And what we're going to show you now is one of the first companies that came out of the Traffic 21 program, which is now part of Metro 21. Uh, the company is called Rapid Flow Technologies, and they use uh, distributed artificial intelligence and traffic modeling to reduce traffic waiting time by more than 40%. Uh, the CEO is Dr. Greg Barlow, who has his PhD from Carnegie Mellon as well. Thanks, Dave. So I'm going to talk to you today about Rapid Flow Technologies. And at Rapid Flow, we believe transportation is stuck in the past. So our goal is to take transportation operations that are that are uh, that, that use really outdated technologies and and turn them into technology and use things that uh, uh, artificial intelligence, robotics, the kind of things that we're great at at CMU um, to make transportation work better. So our products, um, our products take the, the idea that, um, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, so our products take the idea that most conventional traffic signal systems are gonna start out uh, not, they don't complete the loop uh, between sensing data, planning and action, um, and measurement. Um, so we look at, at places where, uh, where, where we can do a, a better job at, at completing that loop, um, or where that loop is really, really long and so inefficient. So um, we looked first at traffic signal control. So traffic signal control it still works the same way that it worked decades ago. Um, you know, it uses the, idea, the same ideas that were used in electromechanical controllers, where we use dials to set uh, parameters for signal timings. Um, and things are still done that way. They, they get updated every couple of years. The, you know, they really have very little relationship with the way the traffic actually changes on a real-time basis. So we've developed a technology called SureTrack um, that optimizes traffic signals on a second-by-second -second basis, the way traffic actually behaves in urban areas. So smart parking is another technology that's really been uh, developed in recent years. So SF Park in San Francisco has spent about $20 million to make parking more efficient by changing the price of parking in response to the demand. But one of the problems that, uh, that, that comes with that is that they have no way to measure actually what the effect is, uh, the congestion that, that comes from uh, people searching for parking is really an unmeasurable thing until now. We developed a technology called Phanon, which is a distributed sensor network technology for, that for, for the first time lets us actually measure the congestion that's directly attributable to searching for parking. So we've been developing SureTrack, as, as been, was just mentioned, over the past, about the past five years. Um, it started out in the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon, supported by Traffic 21, and we've been deploying, we have a 50 intersection network now in Pittsburgh that we've been deploying over that time. Um, and then we spun it out of, of CMU last year um, into rapid flow technology as a way to bring it to places other than Pittsburgh. Um, so SureTrack is designed for cities. It's designed um, so that you take the complex, dynamic city traffic and find a way to, to do a better job of, of moving vehicles through a network that's much more complex than really the way that the, than the control is designed for. So we're at 50 intersections now in Pittsburgh, and we've seen consistently that we get about a 40% improvement um, in the amount of time you spend idling an intersection, which is a huge benefit. So how does it do that? How can SureTrack do a better job that much of a better job over what's out there. It does it by optimizing signals and the operation of an intersection for the actual traffic on the road, not some, some idea of traffic that was you know, collected three years ago and has changed substantially, but, or, or, and even believing that the traffic doesn't change second by second. Traffic is, is a very dynamic process, and we take advantage of that, that dynamism. So we're also really robust to the, to the uncertainty of urban traffic because we use a combination of decentralized control and coordinated action. Um, so each intersection is controlled locally so we can respond very quickly to problems that are happening at a local intersection, but information is shared with neighboring intersections so that we can develop coordination that spreads throughout a network. And by using that approach, we can coordinate over a grid and not just coordinate for one direction on a single road. SureTrack also optimizes for all travelers, not just for the person in a single passenger vehicle, but for the pedestrian, the cyclist, particularly for transit and freight. Um, these are big drivers, and particularly when it comes to, to urban traffic, sometimes way more important than the car. So the distributed control approach that we take lets customers uh, buy systems like this in a, in a much better way. Um, rather than doing a giant 
you know, capital intensive project, they can start with a pilot that exists within their existing budget and expand it year by year. And the network effects that comes with growing the network and actually make it better, work better, that existing network that you had before, if you add intersections to it, it actually performs better than it did the year before, which lets you get to very large networks, which is a model that we've used in Pittsburgh and believe can be very successful everywhere. So SureTrack is really built for the future of transportation, where connected and autonomous vehicles are ubiquitous in our cities. But it's gonna take a long time to get there. You know, autonomous vehicles are coming, and, and CMU is doing its part to make that happen. And connected vehicles are on an even closer horizon, but it's gonna take 20 years, really, for every vehicle uh, to have this kind of technology. And SureTrack, in the meantime, can really take advantage of the kind of information that comes from these vehicles to do a better job of traffic signal control. In the work that we've done, we found that just a small number of vehicles passing information directly to the intersection can actually reduce their delay by 25%, and it helps all the other vehicles on the road, too, by making scheduling more, uh, more certain. Additionally, connected and autonomous vehicle uh, applications give opportunities for cities and for us to monetize more than just the city. Um, one of the problems with being in transportation is that your client is the government, and having ways to monetize someone other than the government is always good. So we're at 50 intersections in Pittsburgh now and are, and are working on deployments in other places in the US and internationally, but we're really excited, um, and something Raj mentioned, that we're a partner in Pittsburgh's uh, application for the, the USDOT Smart City Challenge. So if, if that happens, we would, go, we would go from 50 intersections to somewhere around 200 intersections, which would be huge for the city because some of the things that are possible with a network that large um, could really transform the way trans transportation works in Pittsburgh. So another area that's really missing in urban transportation operations is the ability to measure the way that traffic, uh, the traffic conditions on a real-time basis. And so GPS get, often gets used this way, but GPS has all the wrong noise problems. And cities don't really control the data that come from it, so they have no way of knowing how good the data are. We've been developing with the US Department of Transportation a, a low-cost, really densely deployed, ubiquitous sensor network technology that can measure traffic conditions in real time. And we started developing this Phanon sensor network technology in order to, um, to look at signal system performance, but we found a really nice beachhead in looking at cr measuring cruising for parking, which by some counts, cruising for parking can account to up to 30% um, of, of, of traffic in a network at any given time. Um, so USDOT is very interested in reducing that. They spent a lot of money. And what would be better than spending a ton of money on it is spending a reasonable lot of money on it and getting a lot of benefits beyond just parking. Um, so we've been developing this with USDOT. We just got a phase two SBIR uh, award two weeks ago. Um, but then aside from that, we also are deploying this technology in Washington, DC, around the Verizon Center uh, in the Chinatown area as part of their Park DC program. And then we have similar projects uh, in, the, in planning stages with Boston and Pittsburgh. So at Rapid Flow, our goal is to build intelligent transportation cities systems so we can make cities smarter for everyone, no matter what kind of transportation options they want to, that they prefer. Thank you.